Welcome back, this is the Emma Jack, and today we've got uh, Nuked Gunslinger Suicide. I'm really liking uh, this gold perk icon, man. Like, I, I tell you, right? You get, um, I don't know, when you, I want, I want to play some multiplayer <laughs> once we get 25. Just because I, you gotta show it off, right? When you got the, when you got the gold perk, you gotta show it I don't know, a lot of people, like, they, uh, they just, they just perk level their stuff, right? And uh, I, uh, I perk level to the first 25, usually. But I don't like perk leveling afterwards. Like the prestiges, if I'm going to prestige, I'm committing to like actually training that properly, right? And uh, a lot of people just perk level it all the way. And I don't, I don't, I don't get behind I mean, if that's what you want to do, then, then, you know, why go for the prestige? Why show off that you spent, you know, eight hours AFKing in a, in a perk leveling map? Who cares, dude? Who cares? We all know that you did it because you suck. <laughs> you can't, you can't play that that class at all. You're not good at it. But uh, perk leveling to 25, I think, is fine. Cause I mean, hold up, hold up, hold up. I said, I said, hold up. Oh, that's the that's the good stuff right there. That's the good stuff right there. You know, so uh, when you talk a lot, I don't know. If you gotta, I gotta work on. Okay, please. You guys wanna move a little bit here? Thank you. I'm out of ammunition. When you, if you're gonna perk level, just stop at 25. You don't have to prestige. You know, if you're gonna perk level to 25, I think that's that's reasonable, right? Because the perks, you don't know if you're gonna like it or not until 25, right? You're not you're not gonna know if it's good. You're not gonna know if you're good at it. You're not gonna know any of that until 25. Don't perk level to 25 and then hop into a hell on earth map, right? Like perk level to 25. Right, like go cheat it up to 25, and then hop into like a, a hard mode, and uh, and get some experience with the perk, right? Because you're not good at the perk just because you're level 25. You have to be like me at level zero is better than some random person who just got KF2 and 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 perk leveled it up to 25, right? Like if you never played the game before, I'm gonna be better than you at any level, regardless of what your level is, right? Just because I have more experience, more game knowledge, more understanding, right? It's not, it's not being braggadocious it's uh it's just you know i could have you know if you're playing hockey you could have you know the best possible outfit but some you know person who's been playing hockey all their lives even if they're not professional hockey player they're gonna be better than you just because they know how to actually skate <laughs> you know like i could have all the best stuff but i don't know how to skate and that's kind of the same thing um so if you perk leveled up to 25 don't don't hop into you know, Hell and Earth map and hold everybody back because you ruin everybody else's fun too, right? Hop into hop into a hard mode match and uh, have some fun, play around with it, get used to the perk, get used to how it feels, and then uh, when you're confident with it, then hop up to like suicidal and Hell and Earth, you know. But I don't know. For me, like perk leveling in uh, in KF1, I uh, I also perk leveled just because, like again, you don't get to I didn't perk level all of them though. Um, I, perk I leveled up uh, Medic because I wanted to play Medic and I was like, yeah, Medic is just actually garbage unless you're level six. It's just actually garbage. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just an endless stream of gore fiends. Or gore fasts. Um, yeah, I don't know, it's just, uh, it's rough, man, it's rough. Because uh, as, as the medic, you, you know, your weapons are so expensive, and then uh, in, uh, in KF1, your your perk levels actually reduce the cost of the, the weapons. So unless you're level 6, like, you wouldn't even be able to buy your weapons. Um, and then you didn't do much healing, and you didn't have much armor, and you didn't have, like, all these, all these things kind of work together to make it so that being level 6 medic was good. Being a level 2 medic was just you're useless. So... I definitely perk leveled my uh, my level my medic up to level six, and then I did what I said. I went to some hard mode matches and did some stuff, and then I don't think I ever moved up to Hell on Earth in KF1. Yeah, I don't think I ever moved up to, K to Hell on Earth in KF1. I didn't get it. I I liked KF1 a lot. It was I don't know. It's probably if I had to pick a game that was the most influential on my life, probably KF1. Um, so like it's it's got a it's got a sweet spot in my heart, you know, but. Um, 
I never, I never really got good at it. I was, I was young, and I was, I don't know. Young people are better at games, really. But I am, I'm older now, and uh, I don't know. KF1 isn't really about reaction time, though, right? It's about uh, KF2 is about reaction time to a certain extent because you got a lot more stuff that happens uh, it's, uh, that you can't really predict. But uh, KF1 is is very predictable. Um, so reaction time isn't really about the thing; it's more about experience. And to a certain extent, KF2 as well is, is about that, but there is a, there is a, a higher degree of reaction time required for for KF uh, for KF2 than KF1, which is to say that uh, I'm at a disadvantage because I'm just I'm so old, I'm so old. You know, it, <laughs> it I'm being you know facetious, but like genuinely, if you're 25 years old, like you're past. You passed your prime for for professional gaming, which is like crazy to me, right? Because uh, you look at you know professional gamers like Call of Duty, not Call of Duty really, um, uh, Counter Strike, uh, Overwatch, Valorant, you know all of these all of these games where they have you know professional stuff going on, um, League of Legends. They're all like you know, they, they, they get like 17 year olds right and like they 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 those are the those are the the pinnacle of of gaming performance just because you have uh, as as a younger person you have you have better reaction than you just you just do you know it's not like you lose much but like when you when you're talking in a professional level going from I don't, I don't know what kind of reaction times there there are but like you know, going from like, I don't know, an eighth of a second to like a seventh of a second is, uh, is a big deal. You know? And, uh, yeah, you just, you just, you lose a lot of that, uh, that ability to react to things that are happening. And that's, you know, like that reaction time, you might not think that there's too much reaction time, but like, even just me turning around, right? Like me turning around right now and then aiming at something. I have to turn around, react to where it is, and then click on it, right? I have to turn around, react to where they are, and then mouse over them and click on them, right? So there's there's reaction time in, involved there. So that's 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 why reaction time is so important in games. And why young people are, are so much better. It's even uh, even funnier for like chess. Right? Like you'll have like eleven year olds who are just chess gods, right? And uh if you start as a, as a 13 year old, you're just you're never going to compete with them. You're never you're never going to be able to compete with them because uh, it's like it's like learning the language, right? You have to. The earlier you start, the easier it is. And uh, when there's kind of like no upper bounds, right? Oh, we almost we almost made that work. That was that was sick. Um, there's no upper bounds in like chess, really. So. You're never at a point where you're like, yeah, I'm fluent in chess, right? Like, you're always constantly learning. So the easier you have it, the, the easier you get to master it and uh, get to the point where you can actually do something with it. And you know, the people who started at 10 are just, they're learning longer and they learned easier. Um, so, I don't know. I don't know chess. I'm not too into chess. But uh, it's funny watching other people talk about chess and stuff. Because if you either you either got into it when you were young or you suck. Right, like I didn't get into chess when I was young, and uh, as a result, I don't I don't know chess. So if I was to try and like learn how to play chess right now, I could get to a point where I'm probably better than the average person in um, in like some random like switch chess game or whatever, right? Um, but I would probably never be able to get to the point where I'm beating twelve year olds at a competition. <laughs> it just it it just wouldn't happen because the 12 year olds are just so much better than me because they started when they were you know so much younger which is, which is crazy to me how uh and it, it goes for like sports too because all those sports you kind of get to, to last a little bit longer because you don't you don't see like 50 year olds in in sports or whatever right like there's there's no 50 year olds who are like professional baseball players Okay, give me some ammunition. I have whiffed all of my ammunitions. 
I have lost my munitions. Give me a, give me a crate, give me a crate, give me a. I mean, I could go stab him. I could go stab him. Give him a little, give him a little. Pew, pew. Give him a little. Pew, pew. Where are my munitions? There's a munition right there. That's exactly what I feel about it. All right, you guys stand no chance. You guys may stand a chance. You guys may stand a chance. Oh wait, hold up. This is the, there's a right way to do this and a wrong way to do this. And the right way to do this is definitely boom. Boom. That's the right way to do it. Now I missed a few shots, but and I could have shot his legs, but, but it's not it's not about any of that. It's about the making use of game mechanics, getting used to using the EDARs to shock stuff. You know, it's it's about the the muscle memory and the, the game knowledge and the experience. I don't know. Young people they're better at games. They're better at games. They just are. You're never gonna see like a 40 year old I mean you're never gonna see like a 30 year old um, professional League of Legends player. It's just you're not. They're not they're not good. 30 year olds aren't good at League of Legends. And it's not like a, an ageist thing, you're just physically degraded. And anyway, the moral of the story is I'm 25 years old and, uh, and in like six days, seven days, nine days, I don't know, it's like eleven days, I think. I don't know how to math when I'm uh, when I'm recording, you guys know this. I'm 25 years old in 11 days, and uh, I, I have to give up my dream of being a professional uh, CSGO player. I don't even like CSGO. I don't like the game. I like uh, I like shooters. You know, obviously I like shooters. Um, hello, we're playing like a billion episodes of, uh, of KF2, and I played Gunfire Reborn once and fell in love with it. Like I like shooters, obviously, and I'm pretty good at them. I think anyway. But. CSGO, it's just, uh, it's not my cup of tea. I've, I think I've talked about it before, but it's, uh, I don't like the whole, like, um, you know, waiting in between, like, you either kill stuff and you have fun, or you die and you just wait for your team to either kill stuff or die. And, uh, to me it just feels bad. To me it just feels bad. I was hoping I'd be able to bounce that. Come on, man. I don't know if you guys can hear all the birds outside my window right now, but like... There's a lot of them. They're making a rocket. I gotta keep my window open though, because uh, it's too hot. The window open, it's actually reasonably cool. But uh, with the window closed, get out of here, dude. It ain't happening. It ain't happening. The window closed. I don't know. You, you lock all that heat in with the window closing. And uh, we've got a lot of heat generation in here right now with uh, with the uh, the two, well, the one computer, the Raspberry Pi, the all the other things. I don't know. I, I have like two screens going on and like it's just you get a lot of heat generation and then you close the window and you don't get any heat loss. You don't get much. And uh, well I tell you it's, it's rather uncomfortable. Rather uncomfortable. And it's not even like immediately but it definitely gets to that point uh, rather rather quickly. So once we get into into the winter when we have a lot of heat loss because the uh, the temperature differential from the outside to the inside is just so much greater and then we lose a lot of that heat because the heat is like hey look at that I can be out there instead and then I want to close the window and uh, trap as much of that heat in as I can but for right now we're not there yet we're getting there though we're getting there. I remember when the, the summer started I know, it's weird because uh, August is supposed to be like the hottest month but uh, it's actually been like way cooler than July. Global warming? Global warming? I don't know. I don't know what global warming does. I know that it's bad. And I know that it's like getting rid of all the ice, but I don't know the actual like effect on the seasons. And like, okay, yeah, global warming's happening, but like, 
is that I don't know like we get uh, we get colder winters that's because of global warming I believe right but I don't know how they interact I don't know how the world getting hotter means that we have uh, means that we get uh, colder winters I don't I don't get it I know that I know that I believe that's that is the case though right I'm not I'm not super educated on this stuff I know that global warms a problem and I uh, I try to do my part by uh, staying inside and never leaving to never waste gas. Who is this mysterious marksman? Um, no, I do my part. I do uh, I do what I can. What I can when I can. But uh, I don't know. I don't know the actual like. Uh, I know the impact it has on the environment as a whole because you know the world gets hotter, we lose a lot of the ice, and then that means that we lose less like reflective surface, which means that the world gets hotter and. Um, the like polar bears die, and you know all all this kind of stuff. I know the the greater overarching, you know, effects that uh, that global warming has, but I've never actually like paid attention to what happens, uh, you know, more min more minutely. How does uh, how does it affect the the summer and the winter? You know, how does because we're getting like record highs and record lows every year, which I uh, I believe is global warming. But I have I have no idea how global warming makes colder winters. I have no idea. I don't even know if it does. Maybe it's just coincidence. But I, I think it does, right? It's probably because there's like I don't know more water or something in the winter, and then that somehow translates to to more cold. I don't know. I have no idea. More precipitation. I don't know. I have, I have no idea, but I think it, I think it does. I believe it does. If you guys know, like, leave it in the comments. I'll probably look it up, or I won't. I don't know. But uh, you know, it's, it's the questions that plague me. Why does global warming make stuff hotter? Why does global warming make stuff colder? And by by how much exactly? I mean, moral of the story is, you know, use less plastic, eat less meat, get rid of get rid of the dang cows that are pooping everywhere and farting everywhere. It's the cows that do it, you know. It's like what? It's like forty or sixty percent of uh, of the world's total pollution is just cows farting, which is, I mean, it's kind of funny, but it's also crazy. Cause like that's a lot of cows, and I don't know their only purpose is food, which is sad. But also, their farting is destroying the world. Like, like it, it's it's kind of um, what do you mean? What do you what do you call it? Like uh, when something comes back to like bite you in the butt kind of thing, you know? Cause like we're farming the cows because we like eating cows. Right, and then the cows farting is is destroying the world, which in turn is going to kill us. And uh, then the cows are going to continue living because I don't know the cows are probably going to be fine. Probably, I don't know. Maybe maybe the cows can't live without us anyway. But anyway, we're going to die. You know, as a species, if we don't uh, if we don't stop farming so many dang cows. And. Uh, you know, it'll be it'll be our our obsession with uh, with beef that uh, that ends up <laughs> taking us out. It's uh, it's it's bizarre. I mean, it's gonna be like not in my lifetime. <laughs> so that's kind of the I think the uh, the thought process that a lot of people have. They're like, well, it's not my problem. I'm gonna use as much meat as I want. They'll they'll fix it later on. Once it starts to be a real problem, that's they'll they'll do something about it then. It's like, well, <laughs> it is kind of a real problem right now. Um, you know. Species are kind of dying. Well, that's never gonna work. You what, mate? Did I buy a? Uh, I bought an 1858 revolver instead of a. Really? Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear, me. That's that's not so great. I wish I had the, the Glock right now. Glock would be really nice to have. Yeah, go ahead and laser me. Laser me. Do it, dude. Do it. I dare you. 
And it does a lot of damage, right? See, like, smack. Like, look at that huge... The huge bump off his health right there. Just, like, a few more of those, and... You're, uh, you're good to go, bud. A few more of these, and you're... You're dusted. Take one of these and call me in the morning. Ha ho, look at that. Gunslinger level 9, we do not have our button to spam right now, so we will have to do it manually. Come on. I'm feeling generous. Money anyone? I'm feeling generous. Got it. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Uh, that's gonna do it for today, though. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like, and subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if anything. I can't end it, man. Bye, bye.